Hey guys, Thunderset here, and I set out today to use some of the Gazer cards I got with Dream Tickets, but I uh, realized we'll get the last ticket tomorrow, and then I'll have three Stargazer, three Time Gazer, and then I really thought they would fit into this deck with the Dark Magician and Magician's Odd Eyes. But really, this deck has been streamlined on its own, and Stargazers are going to have their own deck. And I mean, while I was using this deck, I even got the Gazer skill. There's a whole skill dedicated to our Stargazer and Time Gazer. So tomorrow I'll have the third time or Stargazer. I already have three Time Gazers. I have the skill now. They're going to have their own deck. It's going to be a little more just Odd Eyes themed. But right now, we're revisiting this level 7 Dark Magician, Ebon, Illusion Magician deck. Very strong deck, and it's even more streamlined now with this great card, Rainbozu. Why is it so great? It's an 8 scale, so that's awesome, and it's a 7 monster. So every monster in this deck is level 7. We have two big scales at 8. And we have two little scales at two and four. And like I said, there's seven. You can think of Sky Icarus as just another copy of our boy Odd Eyes Pendulum. And then think of Dark Magical Circle as more copies of Dark Magician. It's also our form of back row hate. We banished a lot of back row with this. It's really just a pretty good deck. There are some bricks to be had. But other than that, once it gets going, you have first turn plays, you have really unfair second turn plays, you have removal. Very fun deck. So, uh, well worth the revisit with our Bozu. He does increase attack by the difference in extra deck. Usually that's just 100 to 200 damage, but sometimes that makes a difference, like you'll see in these replays. So, uh, very cool little revisit. Look forward to Gazers. Got the new skill. Tomorrow we'll have the final ticket. We'll have all the Gazers. See what they're made of. Really looking forward to that. Till then, hope you guys enjoy and thanks for watching. Alright, here we are facing a Rex Raptor. I do believe he is, uh. He is, uh. Galaxy Eyes, though. He's not actually anything Rex. He's probably using Titan Showdown or something like that. Or is, is that skill even good anymore? Can you even use that skill still? I think it has to be with dinosaurs now or something. Anyway, Sky Iris destroys the Odd Eyes. That's always good because then we're able to summon the Odd Eyes. Bozu! Bozu and the Odd Eyes. That's gonna be the Dark Magician from the hand. The Odd Eyes from the extra deck. And we get an Odd Eyes cutscene. Crazy little dragon. Pendulum summons. And then the Dark Magician. I even go in defense position to flex. There's Dracosack, guys. Dracosack summons some tokens. Good first turn play. Now he is Galaxy Eyes, like I said. He sets a back row, goes with Vanisher. Exceeds into Lord Galaxion. Lord Galaxion brings out the Photon Dragon from his hand. Destroys my tokens. Doesn't always have the stream because he's not the, the character who does that, obviously. Gekki's breaks. Too slow. He did it too slow. He let Dracosac get his effect off. He doesn't have to be on the field for it to finish. We got our two tokens. Guess what? Sky Iris can destroy a token. Search another Odd Eyes. That's two monsters. We can Pendulum Summon from our hand. And guess what? This time we're going Ebon. No Draco Sack. Ebon Illusion Magician's gonna hop on now. He's gonna bring out another Dark Magician from our deck. Now he swings at the Galaxion, that triggers the Ebon to banish the Photon. We destroy the Galaxion, we hit him for 2500, he only has two cards, gonna be tough to come back. And he scoops, great great stuff guys. 
All right, here we are facing an Agami. We're going second. I don't think he's cubic. Let's see what he's got first. He's at 21 cards. We have two dark magical circles. Don't want to see that. He's Lunalite. So he's going at Tanky. Searching an Emerald Bird. Going straight into Lunalite Fusion. Then want to use the Emerald Bird. Normal Summon. I guess. Goes with a defense position. Cat Dancer. Yellow Martin. Emerald Bird, all the searches, all the special summons. Search is a trap though. Just a search trap. And he's got a Clammy, that's why he didn't use his normal summon. Goes with the Martin. Primera Felicia, very strong monster, pretty good field. He just doesn't have any back row to really disrupt us. We got Bozu, we got a Dark Magician with our Dark Magical Circle. So that means we have Odd Eyes, we have Bozu. We have these two boys. We're gonna get our instance of Dark Magical Circle off this Pendulum Summon now that we're summoning a Dark Magician. That's going to be Cat Dancer gone. Or maybe we go with Chimera Felicia gone. Yeah, so we banish Chimera Felicia first with our Dark Magical Circle. Now it's time for the Ebon Illusion Magician. He brings out another Dark Magician. Bozu buffs in the 2600. We swing with the Dark Magician to return the Cat Dancer. 25 plus 26 is lethal. Great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing a Kaiba on a win streak. We're going second, unfortunately, for him. He's even looking for a rank up to poor boys. 30 card life point boost, though, so pretty random there. Only four in his extra deck. That's already telling me Bozu is gonna be buffed for a minute. Oh, we don't have Bozu. Womp womp. He sets three. Look at this animal. Three back row set. We go Dark Magical Circle into a Dark Magician, so that's very good. We go Dharma Eye. We go Dragon Pit. Dragon Pit can throw away Magician Destroy back row. We had an Anguish Pattern. We, we keep running into that card. Now we can Pendulum Summon two. The two from our hand. We even get an Odd Eyes cutscene. Very consistent. Gazers will probably be using Odd Eyes pretty much for sure, too. So, uh, look forward to Gazers. Here's the Odd Eyes and Dark Magician, though. Already swinging for lethal. Dark Magical Circle is gonna banish an enemy controller, so he's forced to use it now. But we're gonna X these anyway. Now we have our Ebon Illusion Magician. He's gonna bring out another Dark Magician. We're swinging. We're gonna banish his back row as we swing. But it was a Rainbow Light, so he does gain more life points, but he's in pure top deck mode. So he sets another back row. We get our Sky Iris. We're gonna not destroy anything. We Ebon Magician out another Dark Magician. That would banish his back row, but he scoops great, great stuff, guys. Alright, here we are facing Deep Flip. We're going second. We have first... Oh, he's on a 7th Street. Pretty good to knock him off it. But uh, we have first turn plays. We have second turn plays. The second turn plays are very simple and very unfair, as you're about to see. So he is rocking the Triple Ds. He's got a dark coming on out. And then he goes with the Kepler, but he searches a gate. Should have searched which. Not gate. Because now he's got a pen dragon. Really just should have gone which. Would have had a much better duel. Instead of just sitting a pen dragon in your hand. Because now I'm about to take off. I go dark magical circle. Nothing searched from it. But, we're able to destroy it for an Odd Eyes. Now we bring out the Odd Eyes, we bring out the Bozu. That's Pendulum Summon of two monsters. We got our Dragon Hip Magician, we got our Dark Magician. That's Ebon Magician of Illusion, that boy's zero attack. That means all we gotta do is remove this Dark, and we're off to the lethal races. Bozu's gonna buff our boy, we hit him with the Ebon. Dark Magician swings, that triggers Evan, return him, and finish him. It's that easy. Great, great stuff, guys. 
Alright, here we are facing an Odeon. We're going second. I remember this duel. I mess around in this duel. But, why not when we're able? So, he's going to set three in true Odeon fashion. I have a dark magical circle. He's going to show me embodiment of Apophis. He even gets a cutscene for this very old card, but it's really not too great of a card. We have other monsters that are better at this point. We get a dark match or a dark condition from our dark magical circle. At the moment I saw the second Apophis, I knew this guy probably didn't have the greatest deck ever. I thought he might have had an anguish pattern and he could have destroyed our dark magical circle. It didn't work though. So we used Sky Iris. To destroy our odd eyes from the pendulum zone that's not only going to give us the search of another odd eyes but it puts our odd eyes in the extra deck that's going to give us a pendulum summon from this other odd eyes and from our bozu so now we're going to be able to special summon everything from our hand and one from the top of our extra deck so we get three little lightning bolts you really don't want to see that when you're your enemy now obviously this duel is one just by swinging, just by making an Ebon Blade and banishing, we would have won the duel. But uh, here we're getting a cutscene of our Odd Eyes. We're going to banish the back row, I do believe. It's another Swamp Mirror, so really not a big deal from this guy. Now I go Lucky 7. So we could have won the duel easily if we go into Ebon Blade, Swing, Banish, all that noise. But we're feeling lucky. We're going with Lucky Straight number 7. So, we buff him with Bozu. What do we need? Detach. Roll dice. This card's attack becomes the larger number rolled by 700 until your opponent's end phase. Then, if the total was exactly 7, apply one of these. Send all other cards on the field to the graveyard. Special summon one monster from your hand or from either graveyard. Or draw 3 cards and discard 2. So we want send all other cards on the field to the graveyard. We just have to add a 7. We want like a 5 and like a 1 and a 1. Here we get a 1, 5, 1 more 1 would have done it. But uh doesn't work out. So we got a 3 and a 2. That's a 5. We want a 7. 4. We need a 3. 4. So we never get our 7. No luck here. Obviously nowhere near an optimal play because we used all of that boy's power. Now he's just a 700 monster. We have two dark magical circles though so thanks to the skill. The other boys hopping out. Skyris destroy the odd eyes again. Same exact play. Now here he comes from the extra deck. That's what pendulums are all about. We destroy the tiki. And we keep lucky straight in attack position because that boy is wild. Now we're gonna pendulum summon once again, this time from the hand with the Dharma Eye Magician. He's gonna hit us with a Canadia. Flip us down. No big deal. We'll swing over that. And hit him for 700 with our crazy, crazy lucky straight. Sets another back row. You know, another monster. We could make other plays, but he's pretty confident in his anguish pattern. That's gonna do us a favor. Because now all I gotta do is use my Bozu. That boy's 2700 over the anguish pattern, no problem. Through the Canadia with our lucky straight 700 and then 2k to the dome. He top decks and scoops. This deck's pretty good, guys. It's pretty interesting. Lucky 7 is pretty cool. Draco Sack is really cool. Ebon is obviously awesome. The other monsters you're not going to use this too often, but you need to fill your extra deck or your Bozu. So this deck's pretty clean and optimized, and it is not bad, guys. This is honestly a pretty solid rogue deck. So if you have the cards, honestly go for it. Hope you guys enjoyed, and thanks for watching.